Welcome back to Technish with McNish. Today's episode is on the EVK M9DR. This is the evaluation kit for the NEO M9L and M9V modules. These are dead reckoning receivers, which means they include an internal IMU that's used to keep the position stable and accurate when the satellite signals are weak or unavailable. It's an ideal technology for tracking things like cars, trucks, bikes, and e-scooters under challenging GNSS conditions. To show just how easy it is to get started with U-Block's Dead Reckoning, I'm going to install this EVK in my car and take it out for a test drive. Let's go. The EVK antenna is magnetic, so it easily attaches to the roof of most cars. My car doesn't have a metal roof, so I'm using some temporary adhesive strip. The EVK can be installed anywhere in the vehicle. It just needs to be rigidly mounted. I'm using the same adhesive strips to mount the EVK to my roof, which is a convenient place in my car. Zip ties can also work well for mounting. Then I connect the antenna to the EVK and the USB cable, and I'm ready to go. For fastest calibration after installing the receiver and powering it on, I allow the receiver to get a good fix while stationary. Under normal conditions, this means waiting a minute or two before starting the drive. A good indication of this is seeing a 3D slash DGNSS fix type. Once this is done, I can begin driving. After getting going, it's helpful to drive a few figure eights. This helps speed up the auto alignment process, where the receiver determines its orientation within the vehicle. This is optional, and the auto alignment will still complete after making a few turns while driving normal. After making two figure eights, the auto alignment completes and the sensors begin calibrating. A few seconds later, the sensors are calibrated and the receiver transitions to a 3D plus DR slash DGNSS mode. Now I'll drive to a parking garage to check the performance when signals are lost. After entering the garage, the receiver loses the GNSS signals and switches to DR only mode. Then, as I drive to the top level of the garage and back down, the receiver continues to provide a reliable position.
As I exit the garage, the reported position is still right on the road. And from here, I'll drive back to my starting point. So that's it. As you can see, Dead Reckoning brings a huge improvement to position availability and stability. A standard receiver without Dead Reckoning would have lost its fix the moment I drove into that garage. I hope this gives you an idea how easy it is to get started with U-Block's Dead Reckoning, and I would encourage you to get your own EVK M9DR to see just for yourself. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next Technish with McNish.